You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Kentucky basketball is wrapping up a swing through Tennessee. Their road trip began with an early arrival for the Vanderbilt game earlier this week and concludes tomorrow in a rematch with the Volunteers down in Knoxville. Keith talks with Kentucky assistant coach Tony Barbie about the trip in this segment presented by Bird, the official shared mobility partner of the University of Kentucky. Well, Coach, uh, you guys have basically been in Tennessee all week. Uh, tell me about the, the thought process behind going down there a few days ahead of playing Vanderbilt and, and just what you've seen that it has done for this team. Well, it was a, li a little different. We had to beat, probably beat the storm out of town that was coming across uh, this region or else we probably wouldn't have made it uh, down to Nashville for the game. So it was a little different coming down on, on Sunday evening. But, it, you know, it just gave us an extra little time for this team to bond, which was, you know, it's been unusual this year that we haven't had our normal bonding time where you seem to team jail and different activities outside of basketball. So now to, to get them in a hotel where you can't go outside because of the weather here and everything is closed down in Nashville. I mean, the team, you just see it day by day getting closer and closer. And the end result is you see how we're playing better on the floor. Has Davion become that go-to guy and that guy that, uh, I mean, Jacob said last night, he feels like every shot he takes is going to go in. I mean, is he becoming the guy for this team? Yeah, a lot of times a coach can't define that. The, the, the player just it, it defines him. And, and for Davion, he's always had that belief in himself that if you give me the ball and I'm going to shoot the ball in a big moment that I think it's going in. So it's kind of evolved on its own over the course of this year that He's become that guy that if you get the ball in his hands, even if it's not his play, he'll raise up and shoot. And it's been going in more than more than that. It hadn't been. We've seen some guys turning the corner, and really, it seems like the light bulb's coming on. Um, let's start with a couple of the freshmen, Isaiah Jackson and BJ Boston. Really seem like different players in the in the last week, two weeks. Yeah, you know, again, Keith, we've talked about it all year long. It's been an unusual year. You know, the the, the freshmen in particular have really, really missed out on our typical off-season program that we weren't allowed to have because of COVID. They missed out on all those non-conference games that you get to build your confidence as a young college freshman, which is what these kids are. They're not grown men yet. They're not you know, professional adults. They're young college kids trying to figure out this thing in a very, very unusual year. So they missed out on all those opportunities to grow gradually, like you've seen all of our guys over the years been able to do. And so the process has been slowed down for them. And it's this is kind of that timetable now that they're figuring it out. Their college game, the intensity of it every single night, every single possession. Um, and then they're putting in the extra work, which they've done all year, but that's what our guys do. And that's when you see our freshmen bloom probably a little earlier than they have in the past, but this is about normal for this time of the year. And a guy that's not a freshman, but Jacob Toppin had a big game against Vanderbilt. He seems like he's gained some confidence in taking that shot uh, where he wants it. Yeah, you know, all three of those guys. I mean, when you come into the office early in the morning, there's a bunch of a bunch of guys in the gym working on their own, getting on the gun. You come into the office late at night after practice, you see a bunch of guys back in the gym on their own working, and those three are, are usually in that group. And then there's no, you know, there's no uh, question the end result is going to be they're going to play better over time. And that's that's Jacob. Jacob has really worked on his game. Um, and it's, it's, you know, Keith, what they've always said, it's not what you do when the coaches are watching and make you a player. It's what you do when nobody's watching. And those guys really work, and Jake was one of them as well. So you go from the win at, at Vanderbilt, go across state now to take on Tennessee. Um, what did you learn from the first game? Obviously, you, know, you had the lead at the half. There were a lot of lead changes in this one. What do you feel like this team has learned heading into game two against the Volunteers? Well, we're, we're finishing better. You know, that was a game that we, we thought we let slip away uh, late in the game. We had played well for, for 30 minutes, but you got to play well for 40. And uh, we've, we've started to do that now um, over time. Tennessee is a different team, though, when we played them. They're, they're playing a lot different style. They're not running their normal sets. Um, they're playing more uh, open basketball, free, you know, just playing freedom off of dribble drive kind of actions. They're posting their guards. They're not playing their typical two bigs like they've always played. So it's going to be a little bit of a different game that we got to prepare for on Saturday than we did the first time in Lexington. I'm going to give a shot at this one. Um, you're sitting at 6-7 and seven in the SEC. If you could run the table, you'd be at 10-7, and seven, and that puts you pretty close to, especially with three teams ahead of you that you play, being in that top four, which would be crucial for this team heading into the SEC tournament. Gee, can we just worry about Tennessee on Saturday? <laughs> See, I said yeah, I was going to try. 
<laughs> it was a good try. It was a good try, but we got to focus on, you know, the old typical coach big one game at a time. But that's that's really important with this team is it's still trying to grow and develop. And it's not a finished product yet. But it would be neat to think ahead that far. We got to get this next one first. See, I didn't even try and get you to talk about the Keon Brooks last night because I don't want you getting fined or suspended. So we're, I left that one alone. <laughs> but I thought I could get you on that one. Coach Barber, uh, thanks so much for your time and good luck against Tennessee. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Keith. Next game mentality. All right, coming up next on BBN tonight, we'll talk more Kentucky Tennessee with our guy, Jack Goose Givens. The UK Sports Network analyst joins us with his thoughts about the game and other developments with the team. We'll be right back. Hey!